Hello, it's Nikki from Mum Cook Club. How are you all tonight? I'm running really late tonight, but it is good to see you. I was meant to get dinner on an hour and a half ago. I'm trying to always cook these at five o'clock in case you need some inspiration. But anyway, I thought better late than never. Um, I have just got in the door from ferrying my kids all over the place. Somebody had choir today, somebody had dance. So there was lots going on and then we ended up dropping home an extra couple of children. So I've been in the nice um, trafficy traffic. Um, but I am ready to cook. Now tonight I have got um, a little bit of a Mexican treat for you. We've never actually done these before but we talked about them in the car on the way home and we kind of collaborated and we thought it would be a little bit fun to do something a little bit different. I was going to do um, some shepherd's pies because I had some leftover mashed potato but then we thought you know what I actually need something that's a little bit quicker than that so we're going to make some Mexican mashed meatballs. So what I've got for you tonight is some pork and veal mince. Now I'm actually going to make two batches and the kids will take some of these for school lunches tomorrow on a roll but I've got two lots of pork and veal mince. Now I actually buy that from Woolies normally and it's already mixed. If you don't shop at Woolies or you don't see it mixed together, you can actually buy pork and veal mince separately. These would work just as well with beef too. So whatever you've got, you could certainly use chicken mince as well. Whatever you've got in the fridge will be absolutely fine. So what, basically what we're doing now is we're going to make some meatballs as a base. So what I always like to do with my meatballs is put um, one egg in. That actually helps all of the ingredients bind together. So we'll tip that little egg in. Um, I have got some grated carrots. What I'm going to do is put as many veggies in here as I can and then all I need to do is put a little bit of green salad with that. Now if you have a family who likes a little spice, you could actually add some jalapenos at this time. You could, um, you could give those, you could chop those up finely and put them through. My kids aren't massive fans of anything too spicy, so what I'll actually do is um, I'll just put some jalapenos on top of mine because I quite like those with a little bit of flavouring. This is actually some barbecued corn which we had um, last night and I love corn with my Mexican. So we are going to, that's probably a bit much for this mixture, so I'm actually just going to put half of that in. So I think that was about four cobs of corn. I think I got a little bit carried away. If I put too much in, it might not stick together. The other thing I'm going to do, if you didn't have, this is leftover from something, um, it's just a burrito seasoning mix. If you didn't have that, you could just put a little bit of Mexican mix. If you've got that, taco mix would work perfectly. Fajita flavoring would be fine. Or if you didn't have that, you could just put a bit of paprika, some salt and pepper, and then you could just put maybe a tablespoon of um, plain flour and that again helps that bind together which is really good. So I'm actually going to put all of that in there because I have got that double, double pack of mince. So all we need to do then is give that a nice mix through. The other thing you could put in if you had it, I had a look in the pantry but I didn't have any is um, if you had some refried beans, you could mix that through. That would be amazing in this, actually. It would even help those meatballs bind together a little bit more. And then, um, or what you could do is if you had some um, red kidney beans, you could do that. Do you know what? I'm thinking, because I've actually done that double lot of mince, I'm going to pop one more egg in there. So just hold that thought. I'm actually going to grab out one more egg. Otherwise, I think they might be a bit too fully a party. So, yeah, two eggs for mine because I've got um, a, lot. a lot there, isn't there? I think there's probably nearly a kilo of, um, of mince there. So that's quite a lot. I've only got one um, muffin tray out at the moment, but what I'll do once we're finished... I'll make the first batch while you guys are with me, but then we'll actually make another batch. If you didn't want to do them as little individual um, meatballs, you could also do this as a meatloaf. So, um, you know, you could just pull it all together and put it into a loaf tin if you wanted to. The principle will work exactly the same. So that's actually coming together much better now. So what you can do then, I've actually forgotten my apron tonight, Emma, haven't I? And of course I've got a white shirt on, so let's see how long that stays white tonight. I bet you I don't survive this little 
Facebook Live without getting at least something red on my shirt. What do you think, Ems? What do you think? Maybe. Abby, bet, <laughs> Abby bets me ten dollars that I'll end up with food on my food on my front. That. Oh, you think I won't get any, Abby? <laughs> All right. Oh, well, she's trusting, isn't she? All right. Now I'm being very good and using my spoon, but of course, because I don't want to freak you out, Ems, what are you doing? I was just about to say, don't put your hands in. I didn't. Oh, weren't you? Okay. But what you could do, because obviously I'm about to use my hands to roll the meatballs anyway, you could get your hands in there and really squish all of that together. That's going to get that really beautifully mixed through. Um, if you really liked um, green peas, you could put some green peas through this as well if you like. Um, and so then I'll sh what we're going to do now is make... Make a whole pile of meatballs. Right, so I'm going to switch around here, do that. We'll put our mixture over there. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? So I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of salt in there, probably like half a teaspoon. Give that a little mix. Now, how's your day, everyone? Have you been busy? It's Tuesday. I was, at, um, I was in the office all day today with the mum team. We were doing lots of planning. We've got lots of new campaigns coming up, so watch this space. We're working on um, some really cool videos. We've got some fantastic new reviews coming up. Um, all of our mums got our got their uh, what do you call it? Got their e-gift cards last week from Woolies, and they're all trialling those Woolworths fresh soups. And all of those reviews are starting to come onto the site, and everybody is loving them, which is exciting. Um, they've got so many different flavours to try. Everybody is. Having an amazing time. Right, I'm going to put that on there. I'm just going to use, I'll just get a spoon. Not very organised tonight, sorry. So then what you want to do is, um, oh, what I'm going to do first is spray each of these. Now this one's quite new and it's quite non-stick. If yours are a little bit older, you could even um, use some patty papers if you wanted to, I guess. <coughs> I love non-stick pans, but they don't seem to stay non-stick in my house for too long. <coughs> I'm choking myself, breathing all in the olive oil. Okay, so what we're going to do is you can make these fairly chunky. Just roll them into a nice little tight ball. And then what we're going to do is drop those in there. So we've got one. We have got two. Now what else do we know? What else can I tell you? I have got, do you know what I have got is tomorrow I'm taking about eight parcels to the post office because we have had some of the coolest competitions drawn in the last week. I've got all sorts of things that I need to post. Normally the girls would take it over to the post office that's right near our office but some of them are really big boxes. We've actually got a um, KitchenAid mini mixer going out to the lovely mum who won the Real Recipes competition that we had on recently. Now, everybody loved that, so I'm actually going to talk to those beautiful people who we love up at KitchenAid, and I'm going to see if we can do that again, because it's time for all of you beautiful people to start cooking again. I want to see you all in your kitchens. So what I'm going to do is have a chat to them about um, what other new fantastic KitchenAid products they've got coming up. So the other thing we've got on review at the moment are all of the Woolworths um, washing powders and uh, washing liquids and um, softeners and things like that. Um, Gizzy from the Mum team is actually heading up to visit one of the Mum members who is actually reviewing those products. She's going up there with James from our production team. He's our cameraman and our director and um, they're actually going to go up to her house and um, spend a few hours with her having a chat to her about what she thinks about the Woolworths clean product. So that's all of those new liquids and um, washing powders, washing powders and washing liquids from Woolworths. Uh, she's also been trialling their new range of fabric softeners and um, she's also been looking at their strike range of um, kitchen bench sprays, uh, bathroom cleaners, floor cleaners and there's also a carpet cleaner and a glass cleaner in that range. The thing that everybody seems to be loving about these products is that they've got, um, they work just as well as everything else and they're super cheap. Everything in the clean range is only $2 and um, all of the others are really good value for money too. 
So here we are, we're nearly done. So we have got 12 there. Now this is going to be, as you can see, what I might do actually is put mashed potato on the ones we're going to have for dinner. But then the ones that I'm going to use for school lunches tomorrow, I'm actually not going to worry about the mashed potato because I will serve them in, we'll put them into a bread roll, to a nice wholemeal roll. They do beautifully in wraps as well. Here we go, just one to go. So you can see that I'm making those quite a decent size. Probably Abby will only have one of those. How many do you reckon you'd have, Ems? Two. You think you'd have two? I reckon I'd probably have two. Do you think you'll have two? Are you hungry tonight? Yeah. Well, that dancing that you did today, no wonder. And soccer, you've been busy. You've been super busy today. Rightio, so that's all of those in there, which is good. I'll just set that to the side because um, I will finish those ones later. Now we actually had, um, I don't know if any of you were with us last night, but last night we had a beautiful roast lamb and um, I made a lovely mash to go with that. So I had a bit of mash left over, so that's in here. That's just a standard mash, normal mashed potato with a little bit of butter and milk, a little bit of salt and pepper. So what I'm actually gonna do now, I'm just adding a tiny little bit of sour cream, not too much, because you want it to be fairly firm. Probably like just under two teaspoons. Bang that in there. Then I'm going to give that a really good mash. Oh, whip, sorry. Just whip that together. Um, I went searching for my piping bag. I know I own one, but do you think I can find it? No. Um, <laughs> I have no idea where it's gone. If I had a piping bag, just I would... Just um, Sorry? Just use a Ziploc bag. Oh, I was going to use a Ziploc bag, but I didn't want it to look like that... Um, Emoji. I wanted the star shaped piping bag. That oh. I've got. So I wanted that little star like shape. Emoji. <laughs> it's actually chocolate ice cream. So, oh, oh, is it chocolate ice cream? So all I'm going to do is literally pop. So we've kept that fairly stiff. So I'm going to put some mash on top of each one of those. So here we go. I'll put him on there. And it doesn't matter if they get a little bit messy because that's kind of part of the fun. Then after we've done this, I'm going to put some grated cheese on top. There we go, that is looking good. I'm going to put this in here. And then I've got the oven warming up. I've got that on a 180 oven. And then what we'll do is pop that in. Now they should cook through fairly quickly. The only thing I will need to watch is to make sure that the potato doesn't burn before our meatballs cooked through. So I'll keep a really good eye on that, especially my oven. Yeah. It tends to cook. It cooks more in the back corner than it does anywhere else, doesn't it, Ems? Yeah. So you've always got to kind of put the timer on for halfway through and then flip it around so that you're cooking everything evenly. One of these days I'll have... Um, one of these days we'll save our pennies and we'll be able to renovate our kitchen. But that's not happening anytime soon. So we just have to work with what we've got, don't we? Mm-hmm. Well, it's good, so. It's fine, isn't it? It's completely fine. We can live with it. Do you know what we always say is that even if you don't have something that's brand new, as long as it's nice and clean, it feels like home. Use Here we go. strike to clean it, mothers. Oh. <laughs> yes, we could use strike. So they are looking pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of grated mozzarella here. Obviously you could use, um, you know, grated uh, tasty cheese, whatever you like. So I'm just going to sprinkle, put a little blob on there. Oh, that's a bit messy. <laughs> that is going to go everywhere in the oven. It is. I'll put a little bit less. There we go. Oh, well, luckily we've got a non-stick pan. There we go. We'll just put a little bit on there. You could always add more later and what we're going to do when it comes out of the oven is I'm going to put a little blob of avocado on top and then I think we've got some corn chips somewhere in the pantry. Mm -hmm. Have we got corn chips? Yes. So you could actually just pop a couple of little corn chips on. The other thing you could do is serve that on a bed of baby spinach. Are you right there, Abs? <laughs> you making Emma enough wants, noise? Emma wants water. She wants... Oh, oh the camera girl needs a drink. <laughs> I got her one before. Oh, right, okay. Rightio. Okay, so there we go. 
They are looking you pretty missed one. good. When? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he's the cheeseless one. He's the, he's the meatball without pear. There you go. All right, they are looking pretty crazy at the moment, but I think once they've got nice melty cheese and a little bit of crunchy mashed potato on top, they are going to be pretty good. Now, I would love to hear what you think of that. I am so happy that you guys joined me. I'm loving this. Everybody in the office comes in in the morning and we have a chat about what we did on Facebook Live the night before. So I thank you for joining us. It's always good fun. And um, what I'll do is I'll pop this recipe on the Facebook page. We'll also put it on the Mouths and Mums website so you'll be able to click through and um, check that out. I would love to see it if you guys made it. Pop up a photo and I'm sure I can find a little voucher to send out to you. Okay, lots of love and I'll... Um, I'll pop a photo up later. See you soon. Bye.